Hey guys, it's Shannon from Retro Dolls US, and today I'm going to be talking about copyright laws and what is uh, considered fan art and what um, could get you in trouble as far as uh, copying somebody's work. Um, copyright is something that somebody has created um, that is theirs, and by law, um, if you violate those copyright um, rights, um, you could get taken to court and sued. Um, things like pop culture items, like things from TV shows and movies and things like that, um, that is considered fan art. Um, like, this is based off of Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony. Um, if you do My Little Pony designs, that's totally cool. Just take your own unique take on it. Um, do your research. Make sure, you know, you know like, say you want to do an anteater Pinkie Pie. You know, Google it. See if anybody else has done it. You know, make sure that you do yours differently. Um, like, you know, I've put her little cutie mark on the middle of her forehead. You know, that makes it a little unique on my part. Um, my eyes are my own style. Um, this would be based off of the My Little Pony uh, Generation 1 Sugarberry. What makes it unique to me, um, for, for me, is like the My Little Pony Sugarberry has strawberries all over her and she's got like reddish pink hair and um, so I've given it black hair. I've done like the red with the black dots on the inside of the ears that makes it unique you know my own take on it um this is based off of the G1 My Little Pony Snuzzle which is gray and has pink hearts um like the flower crown or heart crown idea is not unique um Pia does it a lot I've seen other customizers do it um so that is not like a unique idea but I did it with hearts um, and used this certain base and that is what makes it unique um, for my custom um, same with uh, smile dog from creepypasta I decided to use this specific base and the way that I painted it um, the way that I covered up the tongue and made the teeth makes it um, unique for my version of the fan art. I've done um, a cat, ferret, and um, dog version of So Soft Scrumptious, which is a My Little Pony, Generation 1 pony that is white with green hair and watermelon on the side. What made it unique uh, to me was I made the ears green and the tail green, gave it a bow like right here on the side, um, did like I did with these ears, only it was pink with black dots, I think it was, um, she sold already, um, but that is what made her um, unique and different um, but still based on a My Little Pony character. and. Uh, I do realize that some people will get the same ideas um, and that you know that happens um, just you know make sure that you don't go and directly um, copy off of somebody and um, you know I mean if somebody has the same idea you know like that's, that's you know whatever it happens um, but you know I've had Instagrammers my followers tagging some people who have made similar customs to mine and um you know I've already talked with them about it and you know it was already discussed and over with so um please don't tag them anymore in like the ones based off that watermelon cat um but yeah I'm not gonna be starting arguments over that but like if you do something that's specific like I did, um, that makes it different from the custom or from the original character. That makes it 
you know, uniquely yours, that is the difference, and that is why it is, um, still falls under copyright laws for fan art and things like that. Um, like this is my own unique design. It is a geisha giraffe. Um, she's an original character that I made up on my own, and so I own the copyright laws for that. So, I mean, I love seeing people customize Little's Pet Shops, My Little Ponies, other kinds of toys. I totally encourage you to make your own customs. Um, if you do uh, pop culture things from TV shows and movies, you know, just take your own unique take on it. Like Pia said in her one of her videos, you know, there's tons of images out there you can pull off of. Um, don't take like one of my pictures and you know copy directly off of that because that would then be copying just like um with her you know pokemon customs and things like that she has her own unique take on it um that geek girl has her own unique take on her customs that are pop characters like uh pokemon and she does some zelda and um the fantastic four things like that you know, I mean, we have our little ways of doing things that make it our own, and yet it is still a character. So that is uh, the difference about that. I'll post some links about copyright and about fan art below so that you can read up a little bit on it and um, educate yourselves. Um, but yeah, that is, is a little bit about copyright and... Um, you know, don't, if you have an idea, you know, just kind of look around and make sure that nobody else has done it. And if, you know, if you still want to do it, that's cool. Just, you know, choose a different base or, um, do something a little different to make it your own. And, um, like I said, you know, things do happen where people will get the same ideas and make the same thing and you know that's understandable you know nobody's completely um original but you know just try and do your best not to copy off of others and i will talk to you later bye